truth is, I don't think courses sell how they used to. I think that could be, I'm not for sure, but that could be one of the reasons why Glendon keeps disappearing. Because even rich people panic. Glendon said it in one of his videos. Glendon Cameron. He said it in one of his videos. He said when his bank account gets to like 500000 he starts panicking. That could be what's going on. Even rich people get scared when their money get low. And I don't think Courses is doing it this year. And one of Glendon's last videos, he was trying to throw every course in the book at you guys for a lower price. All his high-end courses, and that tells me that even he is struggling. There's no shame in it. I think the future, which is now, the way people are doing things now is they're using AI to streamline the content creation part of this whole game to put on a lot more content on social media, which I'm doing, more than I ever could do in my lifetime because I'm non-technical. Well, I was non-technical, so I started dabbling. So I'm, I don't have the experience to be editing all this stuff, and but now you got tools like Opus Clips and Pictory AI. Change the game. I might do nvideo.ai, I might try that one. There's just so many, there's just so many. And it streamlines the process, but the problem is everybody's doing it at once. So when you got everybody doing it at once, how do you stand out? How do you stand out? And I think that's where you really just gotta be yourself and hope for the best because there's nothing really that unique about any of us it's just you just gotta hone in on that target audience of people that was like you when you first was looking for help when I first was looking out help and I ran into people like Edie and Cole that turned out in my mind to be a scammer some of the information was good even Troy Mason with Z-Tegrity some of the information was good I just picked bits and pieces of Glendon Cameron Richard Fain you know even Rich Wayne for those of you who know who Rich Wayne is on YouTube I take a little bit of this information Bandman Kevo because even though people call Van Man Kevo a scammer, some of the information he's talking about is legal and it makes sense. And I don't try to do anything amazing to stand out. I just try to be myself, let you guys know what I'm learning. Thank God I only put out really two, promoted two people that I would consider scammers out of probably at least 50 different products and services. So I don't think that's that bad of a track record where I have necessarily a bad reputation from it. You know, I think like five people told me that I talked them into signing up for Z-Tegrity and Troy never paid me on no commission or nothing on those five. And then on top of that, scammed me. So I'm really pissed off about that one. But that's part of the game. That's part of the game. But to go in, what's working, at least for me, is memberships. And like I said, everybody using AI to create the content to put on social media. Social media attracts the people. Social media is doing most of the work. You know, even though there's a lot of competition, social media is out there doing most of the work. You're attracting the people, hopefully enough people you know, that look at your memberships and I hate to say it guys you might have to do one for free I have one membership that I'm doing for free and 
it's almost like a funnel type thing because I have one called Keys McClendon Business School that's absolutely free. And the reason why I'm doing it free is that's how you're gonna have to get these people in. Not everybody's gonna pay in the beginning. Until they get to know and feel and like what you're doing, not everybody's gonna trust enough to pay. So you're bringing them in free in the Keys McClendon Business School. Eventually you're gonna wanna become a corporate hustler. That's the next stage. I have another membership that's only $9.97. Because that's going to give you the real info, setup, structure from experts. I think I have a law firm on there. Um, I have a couple people talking about uh, building credit and fixing credit. Um, I'm on there talking about setup, you know, the whole structure. So that's the next level. And then the final level is the partnership coaching program where you come in and I walk you through building a low risk entity that could be your holding company for all your future ideas and other companies. And that's, uh, one time $497, $497 a month. Um, and then if you want to continue after that month, you do $97. But here's the thing. Once you get to that level, and the, the first four people that get to that level, only the first four, and I'm doing it for a reason, the four first, the four first people that get to that level of the partnership coaching program, I'm gonna actually bring them into something much bigger, where we actually build a legitimate C corporation that we may sell in the future, and we're gonna structure it legal proper, where it's gonna get right out the gate, probably anywhere from 250 to 500,000 and corporate credit, and corporate and business credit combined. And what we wanna do is build a private private member club, social club things, to purposely attract real business people in Connecticut, this is gonna be. And all the partners don't have to be in Connecticut, but I wanna be in, be in Connecticut because obviously I'll be able to run it. Um, the reason why the first four only is because we're going to have a real corporate structure and it's going to be five directors and I'm going to be the fifth to break a tie because we don't want any arguments to come up where we, we're at a stalemate where there's this many, you know, even amount on this side, even amount on this side. So I break the tie by being the fifth and also I will be acting CEO. So the directors don't have to be uh, uh, officers of the company. They don't have to be, but I will be an officer because we can have outside, what I wanna do is hire a COO once we're established. So somebody literally can run physically the location day to day, but the big decisions the directors come together and I act as CEO and direct them to, okay, we're gonna make these changes, this changes. Why do I really wanna do this? I really believe it's gonna make a difference as far as real entrepreneurs, we, we can like hold and touch their hand in Connecticut and really make an impact in my state. And even if the other members don't live in my state, they can come here and visit and really get a feel of uh, what we're doing because they may want to do it in their state. So I'm kind of hoping that we do get at least one person from another state that this works out in because the company could go establish another one, possibly in their state, where they could become an officer. And we're going to be taking a flat rate membership fee, let's say for example, $99 a month, 
you know, kind of think of like a golf club, but more for just entrepreneurs and business owners. And to make, and to give it credibility, we're gonna have like real business owners. Like we want doctors, lawyers, uh, people in construction. You wanna have a variety, so when the, when the regular entrepreneurs come in, like people just like me and you that don't have all that professional stuff come in, it's appealing. Imagine a private member club and why are they gonna wanna join this club is I have a media background and I'm building a media company that could promote their business. So I, I just as a member, we help bring you business. If you're just a regular entrepreneur, we're gonna have stuff you can do online. If you're just a dentist, we'll do video content to get your name out there. You see where I'm going with this? You'll, they'll wanna be members because we'll be bringing them more business. Referrals, if you're a lawyer, this will be great for lawyers because we're, we're in the business of creating new businesses. We need lawyers to help set that stuff up. Perfect opportunity for lawyers. At least one lawyer should join just on the fact that he's gonna have so much business because he's gonna be able to help people set up their LLC directly so I don't have to send them to a filing company or one of these lawyers that I deal with out of California. See where I'm going? This is gonna benefit the whole environment, the whole neighborhood. I would like to position this in, um, I would say Hartford, but Hartford is a little bit too much chaos with traffic. So I was thinking the next best thing would be like West Hartford, Connecticut. You know, I was only thinking Hartford because the capital and you could possibly get some local state funding just from being there. But at the very least, West Hartford will still work. We'll probably still get the funding. So the first four people to get to that partnership coaching program, and then after that, those people can contribute as well, but they'll be members. They won't be directors. The directors will benefit purely based on you help make the decisions. And the four people can't be husband and wife, so husband and wife counting as two. Husband and wife will only count as one. You know, and we're gonna have a real legal structure set up properly. Um, again, if you're a lawyer, this is like the, you should be like getting on the phone, like trying to contact me and being a part of this just because you get all the business. You know, because I don't want to outsource things. I want, even if you're like a regular barbershop, uh, barbershop owner, we can send you business. You know, and I want a location that will actually double as a studio. So we'll have a place to do video footage. The video footage is going to help me because I'll be able to upload that to my media platform. It all helps each other. And while I'm working on finding these four, I continue on structuring the transportation thing because I'm already doing it. I'm already doing Uber, Lyft, gig economy. So I might as well just structure it properly so I can get business credit. You know, I have a SBA loan, but that's actually in uh, my name as far as basically a DBA. It's not, you know, it's not a LLC structure, which I should have done. I should have did that, but I didn't. We all make mistakes, we're all learning. But back to my original thought, this all starts with memberships. You know, I believe I'm gonna find these people online. I don't believe I'm gonna like see them in the real world and be like, yo, you wanna be a part of this? I just don't think it's gonna happen. I think it's gonna happen organic reach and me just putting out videos. And like I said, you, you could get in free in the Keys McClendon Business School, but eventually you're gonna wanna go to the next level, which is become a corporate hustler 
you'll learn more there. And then eventually, if you want to be a partnership coaching program, I forgot to mention, for every person you send me, once you get to that level, I actually give you back. Uh, right now, it's at one, basically it's $97. You know, actually, no, we're going to do $197 for every person you refer back to me once you get in the, car, the partnership coaching program. So that in itself is another referral marketing product that you could give out. Only the people on that level will make the, the $197. So every person you send me, they pay $497, you'll get $197. So, this is kind of a way of giving back and still making money, you know, at the same time. So, and again, like I said, even if the partnership coaching program after those four, these people could come into this other uh, membership that we'll have in the actual private member club, and they can take advantage of this, the stuff we're going to have to offer there. And the stuff I'm thinking about offering there, it goes deep. I want to actually go back to what Troy was doing with the black card, offering that to everybody that joins the private member club. So we're going to have our own shiny metal card. And um, I better come on here and do videos and be like, yeah, F Troy, and show you the card all close up. So that's one of the things I want to do. Which is not hard, believe it or not. You know, I found a company overseas that can do the cards and all that. It's just we want to have already be making money when we put the stuff out. And, and it sees, you see, I, I think the only way you're going to be rich is you're helping people. I'm not, I don't have any selfish thoughts of just making money. I want everybody a part of this to make money everybody it's not just about myself anymore and I believe that's the only way you're ever going to get rich I really do I'm thinking about it now that I was selfish for years because I was just thinking about how I can get more sales that's wrong how you can help people I think once you really want to help people that's when the money starts coming in I believe and offering a free package or membership is, you can't get no better than free. And I learned this from another YouTuber. I'm never gonna sell you nothing that I, I, don't, I don't, that I won't give you for free. Meaning, if you go through all my channels, you're gonna get all the information I'm gonna give you in these packages for free. But a lot of you, to save time and money, you're gonna go the traditional route and get in the memberships because it just makes things faster. You don't have to go looking around all over the internet. So to recap, we're gonna be using AI technology to help us build more content. It's not just gonna be me anymore. Um, that's gonna have more content to put on all the socials, particularly YouTube. YouTube and TikTok, we're gonna focus on those. And eventually that's gonna bring me in the right people that are gonna to wanna to get in these memberships. And like I said, the first four in that partnership coaching program, they're gonna help me make the decisions going into the future in that private member club. I'm gonna own all the media rights in my media company, but they're gonna have the ability to make decisions in the club. And how's the club gonna make money? It's gonna double as an event space. I already got a, like the whole thing thought out and everything. The only thing I haven't thought out was figures yet, but we're gonna have corporate credit and business credit to help with that. And um, I have the legal structure now it's gonna actually help with getting the credit because 
the way Troy was trying to position the black table. And there's companies out there that will set you up a legal structure and set it up so they have like uh, a way to uh, make your evaluation of your company look bigger out the gate. And they're pretty expensive. You know, eventually the club's going to raise the money to do that. And then we're going to actually have the traditional ways of manually building credit, you know, through the directors. We can use the director's credit. We can use my credit. The business will grow credit itself. Uh, and hopefully get to a half a million, a million dollars. And then the club could go purchase other businesses that I would think would come in naturally because they're going to already be members of the club. It's going to be entrepreneurs and business owners already coming in, pitching their opportunities and their business, and they'll have a source of people to pitch to. I already got like a business plan thought out. I went to chat GPT. I didn't put it on in writing yet, but that's another thing we could use AI technology for. You could literally just go to chat GPT or Gemini or Claude, just type in your whole idea for your business. Help me build a business plan. Remember back in the day, well, back in my day when I was a little younger, if you're not good at writing or spelling, and somebody said you got to have a business plan, you almost cried. At least I did. Because there was no way I was going to even build a format of business plan. You got AI technology now. You just, I can't even type. I'm, help me build a business plan. And you just write down the ideas. Well, I'm here to chat GPT pretty soon. You're just better talking to your phone. Help me build a business plan. This is the idea. And you have a whole business plan. And all you got to do is go in and maybe make a little a minor tweaks. Hopefully people on your team will be smarter than you are. This is how we're going to build. Because I don't think courses work anymore. I just don't. I don't think anybody is selling a lot of courses. Except the people that have been doing it for years. And they got 100,000 subscribers or better. You know. You know, even Erica Williams is probably not selling as much as she used to in courses. But she has other ways of making money in the physical world. That's what we got to do, too. We're going to be using gig economy to show you how to bring in the money. The bank just wants to see four to five K a month coming in your bank organically. They don't want to see it manufactured. Gig economy is great for that. Because they can just wire the money right into your business account. You know, you could do five, you could do at least two to three gigs a day, make a hundred dollars a day, have that go into your business account, and then cut a check afterwards. You just want to have more going in than you're taking out. So if you want to take out, you know, uh, a hundred a day for your actual expenses in the form of a check, you want 200 a day going in. That's all, simple math. So your company's always got money going in. They just wanna see five grand going in. You can have money coming back out. They wanna see that five grand a month going in and they will offer you at least 20 to $50,000 in lines and credit cards and regular credit lines that you can actually write a check for and your credit score probably only has to be like 640 it's all about the money it's all about the money now it almost don't matter about the business but a low risk business is going to get you more, a little bit more slightly more in credit in the long run I think and we're going to be talking about that in the partnership coaching program as well. So this is all going to come together this year. 
And I've been working on this for years. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Um, the people that have been following me, they saw that they saw my whole journey over the course of probably five years. And we fell off a little bit. The pandemic, the pandemic actually saved me. Cause I fell off, the pandemic saved me, got more money. And now uh, the economy is not as bad as I thought because there's still money out here. There's still money out here. Uh, and there's still money in the government. The current administration still has grants. Now, whether or not we're gonna still have the same grants if the other side comes in, not necessarily, but trust and believe the Republicans, they want to see people make money in business as well. The Democrats more focus on small business, but you just got to make yourself look like a big, a big business and Republican backed grants will help your business as well. They're not going to be able to know that you're black or white on either side. They're going to see a company and revenue. That's what they care about. This is a capitalist society. You've got to become corporate or nobody's going to care. And it's the fastest way to get rich. How you how you going to get rich with no education? You're just an Uber driver. No education. But that same Uber driver, just taking the same money, putting it in an LLC, and let's say he has a 650 credit score and he put that same five grand a month he's already making normally in his own name, now it's going to an LLC. Now the banks care more about him than when it was going in his own personal name. Think about that. He can now leverage that credit to go purchase another vehicle and hire a driver. And now, instead of just five grand a month, he's bringing in 10. He could turn around and do it again. Now he has the money to go do something bigger. You see where I'm going with this? The banks don't care if you're not corporate. They don't care. Even if you're putting good money in the bank, if it's going in just your personal name, they don't care. You know, I don't know why that is. Maybe they just figure you're just spending that on yourself when it's in their name. It's got to go in a business. And now I'm learning too, you need to have your like your QuickBooks out the gate because accounting is becoming difficult. I can't even, because I didn't start it out the gate. I'm finding it difficult to even find a company to just do your taxes even if you don't get QuickBooks out the gate. So out the gate, the minute you open your bank account, you show up in your bank account and your QuickBooks to track your money right out the gate. Even better if you use an account through QuickBooks. I think they do some type of accounts, business accounts. They just want to be able to see your money. If they can see your money and you're making five grand a month going in your bank account, that's what they want to see. That's going to help you get these grants. It's not even about your credit score so much, you know. But let's say you have a company and it's just three of you guys and you're all just Uber drivers. You're all putting your money directly into this business account. And then you have ADP cut you back checks. That's powerful. But it's hard to find the trust within the three people. But think about that. This is what we're going to be talking about in the Partnership Coaching Program. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'm going to see you guys on the inside.